Hey, folks. Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got Hater writing in. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. He says, um, what was the heading of this email? Canon ADD versus Nikon D7 uh, 7,500, almost said 750, 7,500, the 7,500. Uh, hey, Matt, hope you're well. My name is Hater, and I'm a regular viewer of your videos. Sent an email to you previously as well where I mentioned many cameras and asked for suggestions. Hope you can recall. It was very helpful, so thank you for that. I came to a conclusion that since I'm buying a camera to polish my skills, I don't really need to spend too much for a full frame just yet. I've been looking at the ADD and the D7500, searched YouTube for a head-to-head -head comparison, but didn't really find much. Confused between these two options, I'll be mainly using for photos at home, family functions, portraits, and sometimes landscapes or stars. Video is not a big deal. 1080 is just fine for me, and it will be used very rarely for a video, if so, but should be good in low light. Please help me decide between the ADD and the D7500. The lenses I was looking to pick up, the ADD, the 18-135 to 135 kit lens, the Canon 50mm f1.8, and one Astro. Please recommend a good budget lens. The D7500, an 18-140 kit, Nikon 50 f1.8, and one Astro. Please recommend a good budget lens. Feel free to give your suggestions for cameras and lenses within this budget range. Best regards, Hater. Well, thanks very much for your question, Hater. Basically, these are two very good cameras. I like them both. Uh, it's tough to choose between these two. I think you can probably get the ADD at a better price. Those are two very good lenses. Those are in my top four recommended uh, best value lenses for Canon. The 18-135, the uh, Canon 50mm f1.8 um, STM, the 10-18, uh, and the uh, 50, is it 50 to 250 or 55 to 250? But that one, those those ones there, I'll put links below to them. Those are my top four recommended best value lenses. In other words, best bang for your buck, best value for your money. The ADD you really can't go wrong with. The 7500 7, is an interesting character. It's a baby D500. Um, it's got that higher performing high end sensor in it. Uh, less resolution, but a little bit better high ISO. I think I'd rather have the ADD in that sense. Um, still very good high ISO, and I'd rather have a little bit of extra resolution, probably save some money on it too. And also, if you're going to be shooting video um, at all, the ADD has the dual pixel AF, which Nikon doesn't have anything comparable in the 7500. It doesn't really have anything comparable right now. Now, the difference is if you're going to be shooting a lot of video and you don't need dual pixel, the 7500 has 4K, which is more future-proofed. The ADD does not, and it uh, you're going to see that going forward that you're really going to miss that even if you don't miss it right now it's going to become it, it basically is the de facto standard at the moment so it just depends what type of video you want to do um, you said it's minimal but if you're talking about vlogging and handheld and shooting a lot of yourself or working on your own the dual pixel af is a great option although you can't negate 4k um, that's a good kit lens the 18 140 the nikon 50 mm f1.8 is a great lens for both of these cameras for astro lenses i'm going to throw it back to our viewers for Canon in an APS-C like the ADD, what would you recommend? What would you use for an Astro lens? For Nikon, the D7500, a DX body, what would you recommend for an Astro lens? Doesn't have to be Nikon, doesn't have to be Canon, it can be a Sigma, it can be a Tamron, but let us know. Let us know in the comments below. I don't really do astrophotography. I don't, I haven't really thought a lot about it. I haven't really researched it, so I can't give you a strong recommendation either way there. So I'm going to throw it back to our viewers, a lot of which I know from reading emails and, and comments do do astrophotography. As far as which one here, I'd probably lean towards, oh, this is tough, because I really I like the 7500 with its 4K. The ADD, you save a little bit of money. I'm not going to be, I mean, either way, they're both really good kits. What I would say you should do is get into the store, get them both in your hand, play with them, and see, probably one of them is going to appeal to you more, and go with that one. They are so close here that unless you want 4K or need 4K, which is a very valid thing in my opinion, then you would go with the 7500. If you really need dual pixel AF, because that's the type of video you want to do, and you want to save the money, then you go with the ADD. That's how I would make my decision. Also, looking forward what full frame bodies do you prefer? Is there some full frame bodies when you eventually upgrade in the Nikon system you prefer? Or do you prefer the ones in the Canon system? Because you can look at that too because you're going to be moving into that system. Um, yeah, that's what I would do. I would seriously consider an M50 myself if I was looking at an ADD. Um, fantastic. And it has everything that the ADD has basically. But smaller, lighter. You can use the adapter and use all the Canon lenses. And you have the ability to shoot 4K. That's probably what I would buy between, it's not in your list of two, but that's probably what I would I would throw in there as a third that I would go with. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you agree with my suggestions? What would you buy? Why would you not buy one of these and go with the M50? Is there something else you would go with? Let us know in the comments below. 
Always great to hear back from you guys. Get your feedback, get your input when our viewers are writing in with a question wanting to know what to do, what to buy. Um, thanks for your question, Hater, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.